Hey guys, I want to give an update on this uh, snowblower, which I've had for almost a decade, probably like eight years, maybe nine. This is the uh, original 80 volt uh, Greenworks Pro snowblower. Um, it is mostly plastic, um, except for the shaft bar, and I think there's, there's some metal uh, over here. Um, it has taken quite a bit of a beating. Uh, over the years, um, I've hit some cement corners a couple of times with this, makes a huge racket. And so I may have ground off a little bit of this of the impeller. Um, but yeah, and also the impeller kind of makes this, um, it's almost slightly off. So it, it, sometimes it sounds not rickety, but there's like a... I'm not sure, almost like a, a very fine rattle to it or something when it's spinning. It spins super fast. And I first noticed that after, uh, I think this thing ate up a stick or something. And so I've always wondered if it's kind of slightly off even though I can't really tell. The scraper blade is plastic, which is too bad, but it is replaceable and I've replaced it uh, once or twice, um, I think twice, you can see, but not very well, trying to get a good picture here, you can see it, uh, the plastic does get kind of worn, it's still doing okay as a scraper. Um, one of the temptations when you're pushing this thing is to kind of lean it forward, and when you do that, it grinds off the sides. There is metal here, this is a metal screw, which... Um, yeah, this, this is a screw you have to use, take out when you, uh, put a scraper bar, new scraper bar in. This one is just getting worn, um, away, so that's, uh, not the greatest. But it's still pretty functional. Yesterday I was doing some, uh, extremely wet snow, and the chute kept getting clogged, which, um, maybe a more powerful one would not have gotten clogged, but it was pretty crazy, so, um in terms of like not being able to get stuff done. Uh, this, the shoot thing, the shoot mechanism is adjustable um, with this little tongue and groove thing, but the unit wobbles so much that this actually wobbles back up into a more angled position all the time. And I, w I wish there was a way that I could just lock it into the highest because this is the this is the way for it to be with the least resistance. Um, so I am considering that maybe now is the time to, uh, at least after yesterday's experience of extremely wet snow, which I'd have to have kind of low expectations anyway for like that snow is just it just you pick it up and it packed into like it's, it would have been perfect for building a snowman, but. Um, so uh, I'm gonna use it today on what's left, uh, some additional snow, and this looks like more powdery stuff, so I don't think I'm gonna have an issue. Um, so we'll see about that, but also Greenworks just came out with a dual stage one, which I have always kind of wanted, even though I don't really need, but oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard not to get that one. <laughs> um, and they do have some newer versions of this uh, with um, bigger battery compartments, um, I think it's an electronically controlled chute now. Uh, the impeller is now um, rubber. Uh, it's rubberized, so that may be good or bad. I don't know. Um, so yeah, overall, and this this works really good for like general snow and stuff like that, and it still works. I can just tell it's it's getting a little bit older, and uh, so I am thinking of replacing this one, uh, maybe taking this one to a thrift store or something. One other problem with the uh, with this older version is that it can't accommodate some of the larger batteries. This is a uh, uh, is this eight? How big is this? Two hundred eighty-eight watt hours. Um, normally, it's the two point five um, amp hour batteries that fit in here, and a lot of other yard tools will fit larger eighty volt batteries, but. This older one does not, and I think the newer one does because it has like a vertical area back here that actually takes more than one battery. Um, uh, it's not a big deal because I just 
hang it out the back here and if I have to use the small batteries I just I have multiple so I just plug it in but another thing that it's kind of annoying with this old one and you can see the thingy does not stay in the upright position because it's so bouncy um, when you want to adjust the chute this is the lever to do it but there's so much play in it and it's it's kind of stuck maybe I can lubricate that up there I should try that but that's kind of hard to be precise and the newer ones um, I think are just a lot better at that so lots of reasons to pretend that I actually need a new snowblower even though this one uh, gets the job done So overall, you gonna look this way? Thank you. So I bought this in 2015, um, which there weren't nearly as many options as there, as there are today. Um, and I'm still happy with the purchase. Um, like I said, there are some problems with it, um, mostly just related to wear. So the scraper blade I have to replace every so often, a little bit of wear on the sides, the propeller has got, uh, or impeller. It's icy out right now, so that was kind of stuck there. It's gotten a little bit worn. In fact, here's one of the grooves, um, actually, that I have uh, knocked a couple of times. This thing eats up the propeller. You can actually see some of the plastic wore off on that. But overall, um, it's been a really good snowblower, and um, I feel like the brand has been pretty good, too. Um, I have had some... I have a lot of Greenworks stuff, and I have returned some things. I've had some stuff um, replaced and whatever. I haven't had to have any warranty items on this thing, but I'm still pretty happy with the company. I wouldn't hesitate to buy um, another one. I would like to see more metal components. Um, I know for dual-stage snowblowers, uh, Toro has one that's like pretty identical to their gas ones. They've been making... Um, snowblowers for a long time and it's a lot of metal products. The dual stage Greenworks one also has a lot of metal too but I don't know if it's quite as thoroughly metal as like uh, the Toro one. So there's a there's just a lot of new entrants in the nowadays in the battery um, snowblower market. We, have, we don't get a ton of snow here even though this is Michigan so I really don't need a dual stage but I've always wanted a battery blue um, dual stage one, so it's gonna be hard not to get it. Maybe I'll wait for a sale or something like that. Um, but, and I'm sure the new ones probably, it would be nice to compare like the build quality for a new, even the, a, new, um, uh, a new single stage one. I know Costco has a Greenworks, uh, like the upgraded, um, a newer edition of this one. So it'd be cool to see like how that compares to these older ones. Um, and then seeing how the, uh, I don't know, just how the dual stage ones, like how do they scrape? How well do they move? How quickly can they move? Can you, can you pivot them a lot? These ones are just so versatile, single stage ones. You can just whip it around, um, turn it around. You can like mash it into the snowbank if you need to. So I'd love to be able to do the comparison. So we'll see what happens. It's unusual that we just got like about a foot of snow, um, just in the last couple of days uh in this this is not even thanksgiving yet it's um late november so that's pretty unusual for here um but yeah hopefully this was helpful um and uh yeah stay tuned for more uh snow videos and other videos